Hi there, I'm Renuka. Hello everyone, I'm Rishma. And I'm Gautam, working with the MuleSoft support team. In this Friends of Max video, we would like to discuss with you about the information that needs to be collected when troubleshooting connector related issues. This will help you speeden up the analysis and isolate the root cause. You can use the same steps to collect and share detailed information when raising support ticket with MuleSoft. Assume you're facing an issue when using MuleSoft connector in your Mule application. The application having an issue might be a complex Mule application with a lot of Mule actions, flows, subflows, modules, as well as other connectors. Please simplify the application and keep only the part of the application which has an issue. Let us check how to create a simplified application. Let us assume that you're facing an issue with Salesforce connector or a JMS connector. In order to isolate the issue, let us create a sample project. Choose an HTTP listener as source so that we can trigger the application by invoking this HTTP endpoint. If the issue is with Salesforce connector, invoke Apex REST operation. Let us choose this operation from the palette or JMS acknowledge operation. Ensure that you are using the latest version of the connector by clicking on the mule icon here. Choose the latest version offered here. Once you have created a simple application using connector, you will need to enable debug logging for your connectors. Rishma will walk you through the next steps. To understand the debug package and driver details of various connectors, we have created a knowledge base article to understand them. You can navigate to help.mulesoft.com and type in the keywords enable debug logging for any point connector. You would be presented with multiple search results. Kindly choose the first search result. In this knowledge base article, we have tried to list maximum number of connectors with the associated package details. You might encounter an instance wherein the connector that you are intending to enable the debug logs for is not available in this article. In such case, you can get the package details by browsing the dependency in the application. Here, I have a simple application comprising of HTTP connector and Salesforce connector. On the left hand side, in the package explorer, you will be able to view the connector dependency. In case the intended jar file is not in the project, you can add the dependency to the project in AnyPoint Studio. In this case, I will add the database connector. And as you can see, the database dependency is visible in the application. To identify the module or connector jar, kindly follow the naming pattern as shown here. Now, let's expand the Salesforce connector to view the Java package name. So you can see here the connector jar file follows the same naming pattern as shown. On expanding the jar, we can see the package name is org.mule.extension.salesforce. This package detail can be included in the intended deployment target and this would help us in understanding the backend ongoings of the connector. Now, how do you set the log levels in different MuleSoft environments? My colleague Renuka will guide us through the next steps. MuleSoft Support Health Center has a knowledge article which explains how to set log label in different environments. Let us demonstrate the same for Salesforce connector. For standalone Mule, and studio deployment, navigate to SRC main resources folder of an application. Open log4j2.xml. In the logger section, add a sync logger with an appropriate package name and set level to debug. Save and redeploy the application. For Cloud Hub and hybrid environment, log in to any point platform. Click on the left hand side corner menu. Go to the runtime manager. Select the application, click on the settings 
from left hand side menu navigate to logging tab set log level to debug and add package name click on apply changes for rtf deployment log in to any point platform click on left hand side corner menu go to runtime manager select the appropriate application navigate to properties tab add a property named logging.level.connector package name and value is set to debug click on apply changes once the debug logs are enabled we need to reproduce the issue and collect the application logs if you are raising a ticket with mules of support team please share the steps to reproduce the issue it may involve any setup required prior to running the application for example if there are any properties that needs to be passed to an application also a sample request with proper payload or headers to be sent to an application it can be a curl request or a postman collection or soap ui project etc details of mule application deployment environment whether the application is deployed in cloud hub on prem or rtf for cloud hub please provide the exact name of the application on cloud hub for on prem or rtf application please provide whether it's a cluster or not complete the mule runtime version details java version and system details if relevant thank you for watching and see you in the next video and best of luck with your mule journey